Meteorologist Chris Addings here. You see me, usually there's going to be some impactful weather. That will be the case, especially across western portions of the area. Do have a little bit of wind to talk about today, though. You can see we have some high wind warnings in effect. This will be mainly across the higher elevations here, the Wind Rivers and the Azorcas. South Pass may get a little windy this afternoon, though. Uh, main impact for most people, though, anywhere from Casper down toward Jeffrey City. Starting end times on this, goes from 11 o'clock this morning to 11 p.m. tonight. We'll have a map showing those wind gusts in just a moment. Now, as far as winter weather stuff, you can see a most impactful area in the northwestern part of our state, Yellowstone. Not many people up there this time of year, I know, but Jackson Valley is going right now. There should be a good amount of snow there. The Tetons around that as well. And the areas surrounding it, winter weather advisories, not quite as much snow, but still some impact. Includes the Star Valley, Salton, Wyoming range, the Wind Rivers, as well as the Azorcas. We'll to start end times on these. There's a few of those. Go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW. As we take a look at those wind gusts, could be some gusts of hurricane force in some areas, but those will be the uh, highest peaks. Not really a lot of people up there this time of year. But as far as where people travel, South Pass could see some gusts maybe to 60, 65. Also, Jeffrey City over toward Casper, so 287 in this area, Highway 2026, maybe I-25 here. And especially places like uh, along Wyoming Boulevard to the south of Casper and also Hat 6 Road to the east. Those normal windy areas. Most people live in this area know where those are. Now, as we time out the impacts for the uh, snowfall, you can see the areas in red here. This will be the highest impact. Now, some snow will break out this afternoon, but the main impacts will hold off until tonight. And the heaviest snow, it'll start when most people are sound asleep, about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. But the morning rush hour, it will still be going pretty good. So you have to commute over, say, Teton Pass, also around the Jackson Valley, Star Valley. Make sure you leave some extra time. It's not going to be any fun in the morning hours. We should see gradually improving conditions in the afternoon, though. Now elsewhere, at this point, it looks like more of a nuisance event, basically spreading northwest to southeast, starting in places like the Bighorn Basin, Buffalo, and the uh, Green River Basin, then going down toward La Lander and Riverton. Last place to be affected will be down here across Rock Springs. Main effects there on Monday into Monday night. I'll stay here quietly, let you read this for a minute. Sorry about that. In any case, now we'll get some details of this. Sorry about this map. I know it's not the prettiest thing in the world. I'm not an artist, so shoot me. Highest amounts here. This is southwest Yellowstone here. We expect maybe up to 18 inches there. Could be over a foot across portions of the Tetons, the Grovans as well. Locally over a foot, maybe in the highest elevations of the Wind Rivers. Uh, places where people actually live and travel. You see four to six inches in Jackson Moore as you head up toward Moose and Moran. About three to four inches around Afton, maybe locally up to six as you head up toward the Alpine area. And uh, fairly lesser amounts as you head off to the east, maybe an inch or two around Cody, but more uncertainty there. Now, those of us elsewhere in the area, it's going to be more of a banded snow in the front coming through, so a lot of uncertainty. I can't really nail down any area it's going to get more, but I do want to give you some idea of what you might get. So, this is some probabilistic stuff. I'd say expect at least this much snow across the area. Those of you east of the divide, you might not get anything or just some flurries if uh, you get the dry solution, maybe get an inch around Buffalo. High, hardest hit area there is going to be the uh, Bighorn Range, at least a couple inches there. And across the west, I see at least two to three inches in the Star Valley, at least three to five across the Jackson Valley, and at least six inches here across the mountains. Now, the maximum amount of snow, the likely maximum amount of things set up right, generally about two to three inches across the lower elevations here. Uh, western valleys, anywhere from, say, about five to seven in the Star Valley, maybe locally up to 10 or 11 across the um, Jackson Valley. Over here across the higher elevations, here, maybe over, locally over two feet if things set up right. Now, a couple areas I want to call your attention to where a little more uncertainty. Now, there will be a low forming over here in Colorado. I know it's not on the map, but trust me, it's down here. It could be a little bit of moisture wrapping back around this. So places like Buffalo down toward Casper, things set up right. You can pick up maybe three to four inches of snow with a lot of this falling on the Monday night time frame before it all tapers off as we head into Tuesday morning. Here's our resources. You want weather, the most accurate weather in the area, weather.gov slash RAW. Just remember, we're in your local area. Our phone app isn't, so trust us. Road conditions on the web, wildroad.info. If you want to call us on the phone, do it the old-fashioned way. I should say call them on the phone. 511 in-state, 188 Wild Road out-of-state. Now, if you want to look at the webcams for yourself, we have stuff from all over the state, not just our area. Go to weather.gov slash RAW, our website, local programs, and click on webcams by route. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.